Welcome back, everybody. Fresh off the first run from Shovel Knight Dig, we have a new man to our left over here who wants to have a conversation with us. Uh, his name is apparently just Meleist. He's just like, maybe it's a Toriel guy and that's it, but uh, they say, hey, are you okay there? Are you going to start spelunking for gold like the rest of us? We're setting up camp over yonder. Come and see. So he's going that way. The arrow points this way. I'm going to go this way to Horseshoe Land. Oh, hello, friend. <laughs> Hoofman, hello, Blue Knight. Uh, at your service. I'm here to upgrade your entire adventure. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, pits in the ground. Okay, I can buy stuff here. Ooh. I want to buy the, the, the big old backpack there. Hell yeah. Relic key. Opens a relic room lock. Yes, thank you. I want to buy that for sure. Find my door in the well. Once you've grabbed the relic, it'll be discoverable from that point on. So it is um, a little bit of meta progression action happening there. So maybe you were trapped. Yeah, you were trapped. Got a few armor upgrades ready. Uh, ooh, the gold armor is back. It's the, it's the useless one too. Uh, final guard. Take less damage, fewer gems appear, but more gems and accessories are kept after falling in battle. Interesting. Um... So all the old, like, armor from the OG Shovel Knight seems to be back in the game, which is, uh, really cool. I, again, it's, it's nice to have those kind of, like, uh, bridges between the games in the same, you know, universe type deal. So there's a camp over here, Meleist said. Oh, hey. Light already. It's almost there, I can do, I'm sure of it. You can get it eventually. You need to bash that rock faster, lass. It takes airflow, so blow on it, like this. Give me a turn already. You know, you can have a turn. Go for it. I'm not going to even try to light your goddamn fire for you. Why, hello there. A smuggling down well? Oh, he he's asking about if there was a smuggling down the well. Uh, he'll take me there in no time. Oh, so I can... Interesting. Um, I can unlock... It's like a fast travel mode, I guess. Can I go any further this way? No, it's the end of the arena, but... Uh, so I can just skip down to the second. That's really cool. If only a certain roguelike that has me play through the same uh, uh, mid-game every single run at a certain mechanic like that to skip it. I would definitely save up like 60 cents an Isaac run to skip the womb every single time. But uh, let's try and go a little bit quicker here. We kind of get the gist of the game. And we now know it is like a roguelike uh, sort of deal. So I'm a bit more excited to kind of dig my teeth into whatever the game has to offer here. But... I am excited, I am. I've been getting a lot of, like, DMs uh, uh, on Twitter from, like, smaller game developers making, you know, like, roguelikes or, you know, hey, check out my game, and it's really cool to see that. But the sad thing is I don't have, like, all the time in the world to play every single game that I get recommended. I wish I did, because video games are fun. But I've been doing, again, as I say, like, every single day, I've been doing a lot of, like, main channel stuff, and that takes precedence over the the streak channel nowadays just because it's, it's more profitable and I have a, I wouldn't say a better time making it. This is not the right door for the key, but it is a bit more rewarding because it's like a personal thing. Can I go back up? No, I can't go back up. I wanted to go get that thing, but I'm going to miss a gear this time, it looks like. Very sad. Although, at least gears aren't like a required collectible. They just, um, they give you extra things at the end of the area you're in. What? What? That, how do I, what, <laughs> what do I do there? Wait. Did I get trolled? Was I just mega trolled by this? How would I get back up from that? How, how, like, I was in a pit with spikes. Was I missing a certain thing on the wall? All right, run three, here we come. That's, that's interesting. Uh, it, it felt, oh, I didn't mean to do that, but here I am. It, it feels like uh, I was just kind of, I got trolled, like Mario Maker 2 style. Like, you know, pick a path kind of deal. Unless I'm just being an idiot. Hey, one of my sacks is here though. Thank you for the, the gems back. Are, are these, can I break these? I don't even know, we're too far gone from that. Interesting, I hope it wasn't like a troll and I'm just being dumb because I don't, I don't like when, uh, I mean, maybe I could tell what it was at first. I gotta learn that still, obviously. But it's it's gonna be interesting, I guess, if that is a uh, is a, a a troll, a little bit of trolling done by Shovel Knight here. 
Hmm. I, I don't know. I, it can be interesting. I, I'm not going to make any... I'm taking so much damage from those bombs. I'm not going to make any big judgments yet. Have I screwed myself here again? I have a key at least. I can make it back. I'm too gamer to lose right there. As long as I get all of my cogs, I should be able to get a, a full heal at the end of the floor. There is a secret. Look at that. Uh, which will make up for all of my... My, my stupid damage I've taken so far. The landmines that I've seen. So there's one of our gears we gotta get. Yes, you guys die in like two hits, even if I fell down there. Um, oh, it's on a timer? Help. Um, even if I fell down there, it's only a chance that I can get back up. There we go. Don't be above me, thank you. Weird. I gotta watch that back and see if I was just epically trolled. But uh, going back to our previous conversation, hold on, chest, food. It's very rare to find health, I think, uh, before the end of the area. Don't make any big mistakes here, pal. That's fine. Honestly, staying alive there and not dying is pretty important. I'm going for the full heal. I'm not going for the <laughs> the item this time. I kind of need the health. And I can't go down that direction yet. Yeah, that's fine. That might just be like a fast cut over to the infernal area. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not sure uh, yet. But uh, I, I really do want to check out more games like Let's Play style on this channel. So if you're a game dev and you have like a, a game that could fit for like a one-off episode or like a, a two-off episode maybe thing, two, three, four, who knows. Uh... And you want to see your favorite uh, Binding of Isaac YouTuber, check it out. DM me on Twitter, on Discord, you know, I, I'll, I'll give everything a fair shot, hopefully. I mean, it has to be like... I have to be able to make content out of it. It can't just be like, you know, here's my, my five-minute uh, iOS, like, Subway Surfers clone. Which, if you make that, good for... This guy's pissing me off. If you make that kind of stuff, hey, good for you, but... Uh, it wouldn't be a thing that my audience is, like, super interested in. Because uh, they don't watch me for Subway Surfers type content, if that makes sense. But if you think you got something special, I'll give it a try. And I'll uh, I'll try to do it on YouTube. It's, it's been kind of a cool week to see a lot of uh, bigger tubers start branching out into, like, game development and stuff. Especially with the, the whole donkey thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not good. I'm, I'm bad. I'm real bad. I got all my... I got two gears. Two gears is still fine. Um, a lot of controversy surrounding that donkey thing, though, which kind of made me upset. Like, how can you be mad at donkey for wanting to platform smaller games? He's not claiming to be a game dev expert. He said in the video verbatim, like, I, I don't know a lot about game dev, but I want to be a part of your, your, like, the development process a little bit. And, you know, you could say he's being a little bit egotistical, saying he made a lot of these games famous, but you can't deny he had an impact on those games, regardless. And, you know, it, it's going to help to have that platform. Like, I, I don't see any game devs mad at Donkey for this. I see a bunch of, like, you know, Twitter brainlets mad at this. Not even, Dunk uh, not even like, actual, you know, developers. But, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a game dev, so what do I really know in the grand scheme of things here? But... I, I don't know how you can look at what Dunkey was trying to propose making his own publishing studio and, like, find a way to make it into a, a, a negative thing. Like, there's a lot of people who have this weird idea that being somewhat contrarian and, like, being against the grain makes you smarter, which is just not true. If you're constantly trying to find the negative and bad things, or, um, the, sorry, the negative and good things and the positive and bad things, I, I think the issue is less so the thing you're talking about, and more so you as an individual. You gotta let things run their course. Like, his whole publishing company hasn't even begun yet, and people are already, like, making into a cautionary tale. It's it's kind of ridiculous. He didn't say, I'm only, I only want to publish a good game, but that's obviously, like, he's just saying, you know, I, I only want to be a part of, of good... I'm dumb. I'm real stupid. Of, uh, of good games. And everybody does. Donkey, at, at his core, is a, a, a humorous guy, a funny bone man. He, he makes videos um, with a humorous twist. Him saying he only wants to be a part of, like, good game development is him saying, like, if you have something special, I want to see it, but also kind of playing it up like, I only want to publish good video games. That's not feasible. Everybody knows that. You aren't, like, an intelligent person for pointing that out. 
I mean, everybody understands that you can only you, you can't choose to publish whatever games you want. It, it's gonna come at at you know uh oh. It's gonna come at like you know a price of occasionally making a bad game or publishing a bad game, but the passion is what kind of controls that whole thing, and. I think he's aware of that, to a degree that I think a lot of people aren't giving him enough credit for. Dunkey, despite just being, you know, a gaming YouTuber, he knows a lot of what can make a game good. Uh, even if you think he's not qualified to make those choices, he's been making games, uh, gaming videos on, how do I do this? Gaming videos on YouTube for forever, you know, I think he has, I'm so, how do I? Is this possible? Am I stuck down here? I can't even hit this man. Am I just stuck? No, there we go. I gotta, like, hold it. That was very strange. But I think that he has the merit. Like, I think he does know what can make a video game fun. You can't just write him off as, like, he's not a game dev, therefore he doesn't know what makes video games good because it's just not true. I think there is certain warranty to saying that a lot of the time... YouTubers who are known for, you know, playing video games can tell you what can make a game a little bit more entertaining. Game devs obviously know this as well, but getting a second set of eyes from a person who makes content uh, for those games, it gives you a different kind of insight there. I think writing it off as him just kind of being, like, egotistical is dumb. He's Dunky. He makes funny videos. That, like, that line was... It's semi-serious, but mostly just kind of like a bit he was doing. I was kind of like a lame excuse. Oh, it was just a joke. Some rocks become explosive. I guess I do want to buy that. I cannot afford your, your wares, my friend Chester. But I know it's a lame excuse. Oh, he was just making a joke. But you can't look at somebody saying, I only want to make good video games and take that seriously. If you are taking that seriously, um, you're most likely part of the demographic that thinks that Dunkey only shits on games, which is obviously not true. I mean, it is it is disheartening to see when a, a huge community like something on Twitter or YouTube tends to, uh, I gotta wait, I gotta wait this out now? That's a little bit, uh, I got one here. I can, get me in, the, the, the wheel is behind me, Doug. Um, it is a bit sad to see when, like, uh, a media site like Twitter turns against Dunkey for a, a harmless act, but whatever. Tom Bola. I'm Tom Bola. You don't say. The Mola. My role is to roll the Tom Bola. Are you ready to roll up? Oh. I'm, I'll, I'll roll the Tom Bola. Refills five health. You could not have given me, like, a better thing. <laughs> I was gonna die on the first, like, area again and be a little bit uh, upset at myself, but uh, I'm gonna actually focus on playing the video game properly this time, I think. Of course, we get food there on our first time back down here, too, but it's it's very hard to look at what Donkey's doing for indie gaming and as a studio and find a way to make that into a negative thing. Uh, it, it is just kind of like, really? And I, you know, I, I know that Twitter is not any worse than Instagram or, I got trolled again, uh, than Instagram is or than TikTok is, but I think with Twitter's like reliance in itself upon how retweeting is such a big part of its process, and you don't really have like a reposting feature that prevalent on anything else. What is this shiny? Oh, that's, that's the the burrow horns, right? We can buy it, sure. Um, it actually will help us get a lot more done puzzle-wise, as we saw earlier. But Twitter's reliance on a lot of the content being for reposting, I think, makes it easier to dunk on people, which makes the whole website a bit more, um, I guess, like, argumentative uh, is the right word there. But in terms of raw content... Twitter is no worse than Instagram is or than TikTok is. And if you think otherwise, you probably don't even use the application and therefore you probably can't really have a dedicated opinion on the matter at that point. I use Instagram, I use um, TikTok, I use Twitter. And from looking at all of them, they've all got their flaws and their drawbacks, of course. No one's going to deny that. But to say one is worse than the other is like saying that, you know, like this, a typewriter 
uh, made by fucking Microsoft is worse than a typewriter made by Windows, and they both accomplish the same goal, to connect. Sure, one might have a couple different bells and whistles that make it more accessible to like, different people. You may prefer Microsoft's because it's got, you know, uh, like, uh, a more convenient shift key. But end of the day, they all accomplish this. It, it, it's preference, really. And if you truly believe what is worse than the other, then I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I think you're just following that mentality of, like, internet said Twitter bad or internet said TikTok bad, so therefore TikTok bad. It's it's a common thing, sure. A lot of people hold that same kind of mentality, but like I genuinely can't discern between the user base for any of them. There's this great like uh, uh, post I saw on Twitter that kind of covers the same thing, where it was a the OG post was like a a tweet from TMZ or some shit saying that the FDA is warning kids against marinating their chicken in NyQuil, because apparently it was like a recent TikTok trend, which, to put it, you know, fairly, it was not a trend. One person made a video as a joke and it went viral, and the, like, responding tweet was like, uh, I, it's hard to explain, I'll put it on the screen if I can find it right now, but the, the, the message of this, like, post is that when people see what is obviously a joke on TikTok, uh, they will immediately assume it's like a real thing just to shit on the app. And it's it's usually because, like, TikTok honestly has a better grip on irony than any other social media site. Whether you think you're the king of irony over on Reddit or Discord with your, your uh, you know, your neck beards and your kitten, uh, TikTok's got a real good handle on what, what makes irony funny. Like, because they end up pissing off the, the Redditors and the Discord users and the, the Twitter users because uh, their irony is so good you can't discern, if you don't use the app, what is real and what is not real. They have you owned. If you hate the app of TikTok because you think they're they're stupid, they have already won. <laughs> They've already beat you at your own game. Give it up, old man. The future is now. But a lot of people don't realize that. Food again. I need, I need to heal, like, real quickly. A lot of people don't realize that. Uh, that TikTok is, is not just used by, like, 14 year olds making, you know, music dances. It, it's quite the funny application. Yeah, I, I already fought you. I already, f I know what your whole deal is, but. There is a different arena this time. Gotta be careful of that. He's stolen my bag. I'm a humble mycologist, and to me, you're just at another invasive growth. I'll show you an invasive growth. Oh, he's getting bodied? Dude, my angles are insane. Watch this. He's not ready. Oh my god, I'm, I'm he's destroyed. The hook is, is extreme. Oh, I'm getting bodied myself now. This hook is extremely broken. I'm gonna kill his ass and just get food afterwards. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. Heal me up, Scotty. Give me food. Or do I not get food for beating a boss? I might not get food for beating a boss. Ah, I mean, our HP is not terrible. We, we can bring this back for sure. We got one more area to go. Wait, we do get a little bit. Recover the bag. I wanted to break that so bad. Oh. Wait, what's happening? I don't know what's happening right now. What's happening? I don't understand this mode. What's going on? I don't get it. I don't understand what's happening there. <laughs> Is this like a, a, a scripted story event? I must find it. It's the only way to reach the burrow. Oh, Shield Knight's here. My mind feels clouded. Perhaps it's the air down here. I apologize for rushing at- Oh yeah, it's Shield Knight's here. That's insane. The excavators were stealing others just like it. What are they planning? I don't know, but those gemstones, they worry me. It's almost like an odd force is compelling me to dig further down the well. Dark magic is at work here. You could have down, gone down either path. We split up. Okay, for sure. Um, This one's got cool signs. Let me go on this one. My HP is back. I think it was a scripted story event because I really had no idea. Ooh, secret fountain. What was going on there? Oh, this is very pretty. 
I'm getting big Ravita vibes from this area uh, already. Oh no. Bomba. So that creates water. I wonder what water does. There we go. I wanted these gemstones over here. This is really cool. This is like a very pretty. It, we finally have an underwater zone that has no water. I think a uh, classic uh, Shovel Knight also have the same thing, if I remember correctly. Well, you know, the platform left me there. I was kind of screwed. So we're dead in the second area once again, which sucks. We've gotten some more like meta progression done though. What can we buy in the main story place? Can we buy anything? Cause I don't want to keep dying in area two. I gotta watch my HP on those boss fights more. I keep thinking like, oh, it's a, after a boss fight, I'll just be, you know, sent back to the main like world map, but uh, I am mistaken. So it's 10K for the next backpack upgrade. Interesting. Uh, what, what do you got for me here? I can buy the better armor, and I'll take less damage. Okay, we'll buy Final Guard. And what about this one? My hammer could put a nary scratch in the damp rock and wood around the exit. Okay. Well, it seems that we have better armor. Um, I'm guessing nothing has really changed over to our left in this, like, encampment? What, what do you got for me over here, Doug? Uh, leaderboards are all, all the... Oh, it's like, it's, it's online. Uh, I don't want... I don't care. <laughs> about. I, I already know I'm not going to be doing too well there, so I'm not going to concern myself with stuff like that. It's a lamplighter. We got a prospector. Okay, so it, it's, it's getting a bit more, you know, advanced in this area. I like that. I can go to Secret Fountain, or I can go to the, the Held Place. All right, well, this seems like a good spot to end the video again. If you enjoyed the content, again, liking and commenting on these non-Isaac series really does mean a ton to me and helps these uh, series do just as good, or maybe even better eventually, as Isaac does. But in the meantime, guys, I've been BD1P. We'll get them next time. Peace out, and goodbye.